What's up everyone, I'm Jessica. Today I am in Mesilla, New Mexico and I am going to visit a church and then I'm going to get lunch and after I'm gonna grab some dessert. So I hope you have fun joining me. This church is one of the top things to see in Mesilla, which is why I saw it and it was also in the little square that I was walking around. It's part of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Las Cruces and it was originally established in Mexico. The current structure was built in 1906 and it's one of the oldest churches in the region. There are some artists, food vendors, and people selling jewelry here. I did actually get something, so if you want to see what it is, make sure to stay till the end. I saw this Billy the Kid sign, and Billy the Kid was a notorious gunfighter. He was shot and killed when he was 21 years old. This building is historical because this is where he was tried and sentenced to hang. Now it's just a gift shop. This is where I ate, and this is also a historical location in Mesilla. The entire atmosphere of this restaurant was amazing. It was one of the coolest restaurants I've been to. They had fish and birds in the waiting area, which was very entertaining to look at. This is actually considered one of the best places to eat in Mesilla, and it's been around for 80 years. I actually took a little clip of their Celebrating 80 Years poster, so you can read a little bit more about it if you would like to. It'll be coming up a little later though. This is the menu and it was so hard to choose something that I wanted from it because everything just looks so good. Their food was amazing, the flavors are on point, everything was just on point here. I got a few things from a couple of the shops that were inside this building as well, so make sure to stay till the end because that's when I'm showing everything.
The chocolate made here is made in the tradition of European candy makers using pure, fresh, and natural ingredients. I'm back from Messia and I'm going to show you some of the things that I got while I was there because I know I really didn't show it when I was there. They had a little street fair going on and I got a necklace from one of the vendors so she packaged it in this cute little purple bag. It's just a simple beaded necklace but I don't know, I thought it was cool so here it is. I liked it. I actually thought the beads were purple at first, but they're blue. That's still cool. I like blue just as much as I like purple, so I will be wearing this one day. I thought it was pretty and yeah, I'm excited to wear it. So let me show you her card just in case you guys want to know who made it. The second thing I got is actually a little handheld mirror. So here it is. And this is The Kiss by Klimt. This isn't actually by Klimt, but if you go look up his artwork on like Google or something, then you'll see this image. It's one of my favorite artworks. I love looking at this one. So I was like, I want to get this mirror because I think that's really cool that that's on the back of it. And then this is the actual mirror part and it has like a little floral design, which I thought was really pretty. I'm just gonna hide the mirror for a second. That way you guys can see the floral design. They had more of these mirrors in this little shop. It was like a jewelry shop inside the restaurant I ate at. The other mirrors had different images, different designs. One had Frida Kahlo on it, another one had a mermaid on it, and then there was also a bigger version too. Here's the card for the mirror that I got and they also have jewelry as well. The restaurant that I ate at has a gift shop and they had a cookbook in there which has some recipes from right off the menu. So here's the book. In the beginning it talks a little bit about the history of the restaurant and then it has the recipes like halfway through. They actually have a lot of recipes in here. The food that I ate was really good. I actually thought it was the best Mexican food I've had in a long time. So I'm excited to maybe cook one of these one day. One thing that I did eat there that I was surprised that I liked was their coleslaw. I don't like coleslaw, but I was like, all right, I'm gonna try it because it did kind of come with my meal like as a little side. It was actually so good. It was the best coleslaw I'd ever had. So I think it's actually in here. So I'm excited to maybe have that one day as well. Any Mexican restaurant that you go to, they give you chips and salsa, right? Well, they just happen to have salsa in their gift shop, the salsa that they make. And I was like, I cannot go home without getting this salsa. So <laughs> I got this salsa. Here it is. This was some of the best salsa I've ever had. So I just couldn't live without it. And I actually got two because I was a big fan of it. So that's what I got from the gift shop of the restaurant that I went to, which is called La Posta. Again, it was an amazing restaurant. It was just an amazing experience to walk in there. It was kind of like a little mini mall in a way. And then when they take you to your table, it's like you're going into a whole different room. I mean, the building was huge and on the outside, it didn't look like that was going to be on the inside. So it was a really cool experience to go to that restaurant. So if you ever go to Mesilla, New Mexico, I would recommend going to La Posta because that was an amazing restaurant. And then after I got some chocolate from the chocolate lady and I actually ended up eating it like right away because it was hot and it was melting. So I didn't really have time to show it, but I did put in some clips of the chocolate that they had there. And here's the business card. And it was right there in the square where they were having their little street fair, street market. I don't know what it was called. I didn't even know that was going to be around. It was also in the same vicinity as the church, just all in that little square. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope you enjoyed going to Missy in New Mexico with me as my first time going there. And it was a cute little small town and I really liked it. The whole style and vibe there was really cool. So I hope you enjoyed seeing that. 
And if you like this video, make sure to give it a like. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell. I would love to have you here on my channel and I will see you next time.